All right, this is going to be the most annoying video on the internet part two because I'm going to show you my VinFast collection, all right? All of my VinFast, let's go. Hello Tom, I know about your success, about your YouTube channel. I am sure that you are going to be expanding and growing more and more. Saludos, Tomas. So the journey really started when VinFast announced they're going to make electric cars. Electric cars in Vietnam to be exported around the world. When I heard that news, I was very excited. Finally, a Vietnamese brand is gonna take Vietnamese product around the world and everybody's gonna know about it. I also love the idea of electric cars because you know we have this environmental problem and electric cars is a solution to that problem. So I put on a deposit as soon as, as I knew about it and I was one of the first people to get the VinFast VF E34. And it is right here, all right? This is my VinFast VF E34. I still have it. I have it for about um, 14 months now. It's actually raining. You know, the rain's not gonna stop me from making this video for you. But this VinFast VF E34 is a great car. It's the, one of the first electric cars ever made by VinFast. And uh, I love that car because, you know, if you want a car that's small enough, easy to drive, seats five people, decent uh, luggage space, and has enough power, uh, you know, it gets to 100 kilometers in about nine seconds. It's a fun little car to drive. It's front wheel drive. So if you're looking for something economical and easy to drive, it's fun, this is it. Get this one, get the VinFast VF E34, all right? And then I also put down my deposit for my next VinFast VF cars, and that would be the VinFast VF8, all right? I made a lot of videos about this car, but at the time nobody paid attention. And then I made videos about this car, not because, you know, um, I was looking for celebrity status or anything. I was making these videos because I really truly care about electric cars being made in Vietnam. And when I made videos about this car, I did document certain times when the car broke down. You know, a lot of people attacked me and you know, that, it's all history now, but I report what happens, right? I tell the truth. And the fact of the matter is that we have some problems with the E34 and the VF8, but I still nevertheless love this car, all right? I love this car. We have some problems with the battery and we were stranded a few times, but you know what, VinFast took care of us and uh, uh, we haven't had much problems after that. And if you're looking for something that has performance, all right, 402 horsepower, go to 100 kilometers an hour in about 5.5 seconds. If you're looking for something really fun to drive in Vietnam, it's really hard to get a car that can accelerate that fast in Vietnam, 5.5 seconds, 402 horsepower. For the price that this car sells for, I mean, this is a fucking great deal, all right? In the other markets, I don't know, but in Vietnam, you know, if you're looking for performance, you know, this is the one to get, okay? Don't get your fucking four liter like petrol cars. They're all, they're all shit, all right? Get this one and you will feel the performance. If you want performance, you want style, get the VF8, all right? Now, I did not stop there, however, because VinFast are going to make other models and I continue to put down deposits for other models of the VinFast cars. And my next car is the VF9. I was the first one probably in the south to get the E34. I was one of the first four in the south to get the VF8. And I was one of the first nine in the south to get the VF9. So I have to say the salesperson that worked for me in VinFast, she is good. I have to thank VinFast Taodian for uh, you know, allowing me to get cars early, right? Being one of the first few to get VinFast cars. And I was one of the first nine in the South to get the VF9. And let me tell you, I love this car. But did I have problem with this car? Yes, I did, right? 
I have some electrical problems, same problem with the VF8 and E34. The battery likes to die, so you know, you have to call the service center, they send a truck. Eventually, I send the car back and they fixed it, no more problems. I did have some problem with the rear suspension, it collapsed so that, you know, the, the back was riding much lower. Uh, again, send the car back, they have fixed it. Uh, if you're looking for something with power, although not as much power as the VF8, it's the same horsepower, but um, this car is much bigger, right? So if you're looking for performance and style and quality, if you're looking for good quality interior, if you're looking for presence, because this car is huge, this car is big. If you're looking for a car that can seat a lot of people, this car can sit six, um, maybe seven, you know, maybe six plus a child, right? So if you're looking for a car that is style, that is quality, that is performance, and can sit a lot of people, get the VF9, all right? But I did not stop there because my next car, I also put down the reservation for and got very recently is the VinFast VF5, all right? This, I have to say, is the best EV ever made anywhere in Vietnam, rest of the world, doesn't matter what make and model, I love the VinFast VF5 Plus because you know what? This car is only 400 million dong, which is about 16,000 dollars right and you get so much for so little and if the world is going to electrify if the people are going to adopt electric cars this is the car that we need for everyone to adopt and migrate to electric cars so for that reason this is actually my favorite VinFast electric car all right I wish they would export this so that everyone in the world can enjoy this car and I have to say uh, it's been about a month or more and I've driven this car for about 700 kilometers and I have had no problem with this car not a single problem because this car is much simpler uh, there's not a whole lot that can go wrong which is one more reason why you should get this car because this car is more likely to be problem free all right and also and one more reason why I love about the VF5 plus is that this car can go 250 kilometers on a small battery, all right? So it has a 37 kilowatt hour battery and on that you can go about 250 kilometers. Me, I can do that. Driving like Tom Payne, you can do about 250 kilometers. Uh, if you drive like yourself, you can probably get more. Because the battery is small, you can go to a charging station, you can charge quickly and you get another 250 kilometers. So this is actually a very convenient car, meaning that it has a re reasonable range and you can charge it up fast at a fast charging station, right? So it's actually very utilitarian. I wouldn't mind taking this car and go long distance. Maybe go to another city, maybe go to Kanto, maybe go to Muine. I, I think this car can, can do that, all right? So for all those reasons, I think this is the best EV ever made, all right? So there you have it, my four VinFast electric vehicles. And it's not gonna stop here, however, because you know there's also the VF6 and the VF7 and the VF3. My commitment is to buy every single VinFast EVs ever made. If they made a sports car, I would buy it. If they made a truck, I would buy it. Because you know what? I'm proud that VinFast is putting Vietnamese brand around the world, okay? I, I think that is important and that's a great story to tell. Take some fucking action. These are my VinFast cars and don't be a fucktard.